Ah, uh, okay. You guys are not gonna see that, but this is probably the fourth time I'm trying to record this. Because I didn't realize my phone was doing updates on the background. And every time we'd finish one, we'd stop recording, and I was just here talking to nobody. Anyway, moving forward. Okay, so the car today is a 2005 uh, Reno Modus with the 1.5 DCI engine and uh, this car came to be um, exactly as I'm going to show you the only thing I've done so far was putting the battery uh, on charge okay uh, because it was a little bit low um, and the car doesn't start it was dropped here yesterday the window doesn't close the, it looks like the regulator is gone because um, I, I can hear it inside uh, a noise so it looks like the, the cables or something so I had to put that in there because as you can see as well it's raining um, and obviously someone has been already trying to do something there's a different fuse box um, under the hood I don't know which one is the original if this one or the other one but there's that there, there is one in there um, obviously the UCH or UHC is like that the car is all dismantled all the bits in the back um, and yeah, so the car doesn't start and uh, I've just, um, what I've done so far is I plugged the, 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 the charger, I've checked, make, make sure everything was plugged in, check that, make sure everything is plugged in, which it is, and um, when you turn the ignition on, I'm going to show you, it does the following, the panel pretty much doesn't light up other than the temperature and the clock you can see the rest of the panel is off um, there's no other sounds there's no beeps no nothing the immobilizer light stays solid on as you can see and um, when you turn it on let me show you again you're gonna hear that normal Okay, I'm going to do it again. You can hear that normal, like, sort of a relay going when it's first turned the key on. So, let's gonna... Okay, you can hear that. And then, you hear... It looks like the doors to me. Trying to unlock or something like that. So, that's where we are at the moment. Um, when you crank... As you have seen, you can hear a relay going off or looks like going off over there. And I'm going to try to show you, nothing happens, look. Okay, the, that panel goes off and nothing happens. I haven't scanned the car yet, although the Maxi Seas is already plugged in. Uh, but we're going to do it now. We're going to um, scan it and see what we can connect to. And see if there's any codes that are going to somehow help us to figure out what's wrong with this. And here we are on the main menu. Uh, good sign. Uh, the car communicates. Um, he, he found the VIN number. Oh, come on. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. Okay, I'm gonna do it from here. Uh, okay, so the, the Maxi C is found the VIN number, which means he's communicating with our OK. Um, during the communication process, <clears throat> uh, one thing that happened the spanner light came on for a few seconds and went off again so the panel looks like i don't know if it's good or not but what i want to do first is diagnosis and i'm actually going to do an auto scan because okay let me turn the radio on the radio is asking for a code yes yes <laughs> and i'm going to do an auto scan because i want to see exactly how many issues is going to find um, as you have seen straight away, it failed to find the engine ECU. Um, okay. So we have three modules here. And I want to see. Okay, let, 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 let it finish and then we'll carry on. 
Okay, and it's just finished, and uh, there is a few things I'm not happy to see here. So, one, there's no engine ECU, so that tells us something straight away. Second, there is no steering column, or electric s steering column, uh, or power-assisted steering, whatever you want to call it. They are not here, so that's no good. That's not very good. So, let's gonna see, for example, what the ABS tells us. Okay, and okay, fine, nothing interesting. Let's gonna go to instrument panel. Not interested on that. And this is the one that hopefully will tell us something. Okay, so we have this one here, which we all know what that is. Okay, but if you don't, um, DF-048, that's obviously the immobilizer between, um, on, is the immobilizer on the, on the, um, on the EPS, uh, electronic power steering, as I thought it would be. But my problem still, guys, is that I don't have engine ECU here, which is no good, or even the EPS. So let's gonna go manually selecting what I need. Um, variable PAS. Okay, no communication. I'm sure it's the other one. Yes, it is. And obviously, no injection. Um, that's two big problems because with that, I can't do nothing. I can't even do nothing with the. Uh, uh, power steering because I can't communicate with it. So even if I want to do something to it to resolve this issue, I can't. Uh, so we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to try to figure out why we have no communications uh, really and go from there. Try to figure out why the the engine ECU is offline and why the variable uh, PAS or EPS is offline as well. And um, and then we'll go from there really. I don't think at this point is uh, at this point in time is any good to connect the Reno machine. I will be having the same problem. I'll, I'm going to need that computer to resolve that um, uh, synchronization between the um, UHC and um, and the EPS. I will need it, but for now, let's just going to try to resolve that and go from there. Okay, and uh, I go in there, and um, it doesn't look like. I mean, if this um, um, if this was replaced, it was a long time ago because there was no signs of being uh, of being replaced. Um, I've checked voltage. I do have voltage here, um, and obviously, if I disconnect this, um, if I disconnect this plug, which contains obviously the communication lines, blah blah blah. Um, I obviously um, lose communication with other modules, I lose communication with that. Um, so I plug it back in and I'm now on the instrument panel because as you see when I turn my uh, key on, I mean, I'm going to cycle the ignition, turn it on, and as you can see the only thing that comes on is my immobilizer light. Um, there's no stop light, there's no ABS lights, there's no nothing there. Um, so I'm here on this uh, module actuating stuff and I just want to see if everything works and as you can see when I activate the panel everything comes on uh, showing to me that the panel is actually kind of good um, I can communicate lightning I'm just just activating random stuff on the panel okay so the lightning is fine so the the back light goes on and off although it looks like some lamps at the back they are gone but they are not working but so yeah i'm trying to as i said i'm trying to figure out uh what's wrong uh why i can't communicate with that module um just just trying with that disconnected i lose connection to that 
and I lose connection I, and I still don't have connection to that but another module that if you go back I believe you're going to see in there as well is, is, is that I cannot let me have a look is that I cannot communicate oh I'm so sorry guys I uh, had my finger over the camera um, is that I cannot communicate with the, the airbag system as well so uh, yeah, I have a feeling that I don't know it's gonna be one module maybe that is shutting down this let me let me try to do something here I'm gonna hold on a second okay so what I've done uh, now is I've disconnected the engine ECU and uh, I still have no communication with either the PAS or the airbags so still no communications and I didn't like to see the plugs um, the, the, the the gaskets around the plugs of the ECU they are all missing uh, of one is cut in there so is allowing moisture um, it doesn't seem that there is any corroded pins or anything like that but um, but yeah the the, the the seals are cut uh, they are off oh, everything is destroyed in there anyway I think the next time I'm gonna be actually recording is gonna be when I have a little bit more info and then I'll take you through um, how I got there because otherwise I'll be here forever so so yeah okay guys and before we go any further I go hold of some diagrams so we can understand a little bit uh, what the system does uh, and I, what, what I've started to uh, check is my communication lines so the two to five module is actually my obd port so i'm not really interested on this side so the 12 volts the can i can low for the radio phone module and sat nav and all that stuff we don't need that on this side we have the grounds which we all know is 4 and 5 then we have here uh, right at the top 6 and 14 is my can uh, can high obviously my pin 6 can low my pin 14 and that goes straight into my uh, module in there uh, pin 19 and 39 on and the 40 plug on the 40 pin plug which I'm not sure which one is if it's the black or the white one I'm not really sure but it doesn't really matter at the moment because I do have communications with my uh, UCH as we have seen so I'm okay here uh, from here from this pin 19 and 39 um, the the can is shared from these two pins straight into obviously they might be uh, joined at the back somewhere um, you know at the back of that plug the same pins the same wires they go to my airbag which I don't understand why I can't communicate with my airbag it might be a power problem we'll get there um, goes to my airbag goes to my what else it goes to goes to my uh, AC I think it, it is uh, goes to my goes to my what And I think that's it, really. Ha! Ah, and goes to the uh, pa, 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 to that to there goes to my um, EPS electronic power steering. So, as I was saying again, pin thirty nine and pin so pin thirty nine and nineteen is my can into my UCH. Here we have now a different diagram, which I will explain you exactly what it is. And what it is, is we have module uh, 1232, which is my uh, power steering module. We have my 6R5 UHC, UC, UHC, or UCH, whatever you want to call it. And as you can see, pin 39 and pin 19 are my CAN lines. And they go straight to my um, power steering module. And then the module here gives the communication to my instrument panel through pin 6 and 3 okay uh, so if I am communicating okay with my UHC with my instrument panel why am I why am I not communicating with my PAS or EPS I'm a little bit confused at the moment uh, we might have a faulty module um, at the moment I'm uh, back probing pin 4 and pin 2 which is my can lines and as you can see in there they mirror each other my only problem here 
is they mirror to about a volt so each one of those squares is one volt or around there and they are going to about one volt something just around there they should be a little bit more but the line looks okay to me other than that okay and I'm now back probing two different wires so I was back probing four and two which was my can here now I'm back probing three and uh, six which is my can to the instrument panel which is obviously is gonna be also good because I can I'm okay to communicating with my uh, instrument panel so um, that, that that would be fine so at this at this moment in time I believe we have a problem with my uh, with my um, EPS with this module here because I can't communicate with it but still I need to find out what's wrong with my airbag as well because last thing I want is to get is to diagnose this wrong and get a different uh, electronic power steering to find out my problem is actually um, a network problem uh, it doesn't look like because as I said it looks like this here is okay from all the way to here inside the module back to here bank is everything okay it's just the module itself inside that is not communicating so what am I gonna do now ah let's go back to this one engine ECU and ESP yeah that communication goes through my key line we have communication with the ABS as we have seen as well um, I'm sure we do have let me have a look just pressing on the tool yes we do have so I have communication with my uh, ESP ABS um, and as you can see it's pin 7 from my uh, plug comes all the way to this multi plug here which uh, here shows only pin 14 but there is uh, more pins here on this plug um, and uh, from here it splice to my injection ECU and to my ESP so we have communication with the ESP and ABS so this key line is going to be good all the way up to here so we might have an issue here but what I want to do now is because I know it's on pin B4 I want to measure that from there all the way up to my pin number 7 on my uh, OBD port and if I do have um, a good wire then I might have a problem with either the power supply to the ECU uh, or with the um, ECU itself um, one last thing that I haven't checked yet and I'm gonna do it just before I move on is right here so on my um, electronic power steering module uh, or electric whatever you want to call it I do have indeed um, uh, bum, 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 I do have power here on these two so I have ground and I have voltage on the two big wires right at the back these wires here these two here but it looks like I'm supposed to have as well on pin number five I'm supposed to have sorry guys I'm supposed to have what's that is that voltage it looks like because I have a fuse here yes it is 15 amps uh, 1337 uh, fuse 106 so I'm supposed to have voltage here so I need to check if I have voltage on my pin number five let's gonna do that okay guys and I have back probed I know it looks a little bit confusing but I have my can uh, uh, back probing my can lines here and here and I'm back probing pin number five so one two the two is empty three four five is the yellow one can see that red probe in there uh, and I'm supposed to have voltage in there um, I presume so if I do this now on the ground and I have nothing so I don't have voltage at this line 
Okay, so it might be that. Okay, let me check fuses. I need to find out where that fuse is and we'll go from there. Okay, guys, so um, this yellow wire goes straight. As you can see, two ohms comes all the way to this plug here, which goes into here, which is this pin here, okay? And uh, and uh, as we can see from the diagrams, it also uh, goes <coughs> into the other plug, this plug here, uh, a yellow wire as well, which is here, pin 11. But either way, um, uh, we don't have uh, voltage coming out from either one of these. Now, I don't know which one is the uh, original uh, module, and that's what I'm gonna find out next, uh, or try to see if, I don't know, because um, this one has been opened by someone, I presume this was probably the original one, so I'm gonna have to have a look and, uh, and go from there. Okay, so back probing uh, yellow wire again, and that's gonna ground there. And I have 12 volts. So let's kind of plug this back in. And let's see what happens when I turn my ignition on. Okay. Oh, that's a difference. That's a difference. Okay, so my uh, what do I have now? So that light is permanently on. That's permanently on. And let me see. I will tell you in a minute how I managed to get those 12 volts in there. But for now, let's gonna see what I can communicate with and let's gonna try variable PAS again and voila and we have and we are back to business okay engine protection status blah 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 okay so it's gonna go back let me see if I can communicate with my engine now okay I still have my engine off line but we do have communications there, so I do know the problem uh, I have there on my EPS, uh, electronic power steering, is my 12 volts missing on that wire. The way I've done it to get that back was I've jumped that straight, straight into the yellow wire that goes over there. So these, um, I actually put the other uh, box, the one that was inside the car, but it's doing the same thing, so my problem is going to be something, um, I doubt both boxes are going to be broken, so I think it's going to be something feeding this box, okay, and that's what I'm going to try to figure out now. So my problem lays around here, I believe, somewhere around here. And uh, just curiosity before we go on, um, I have obviously by doing that, I have airbags back, as you can see, I have obvi obviously that, um, I still have no communications with that, for obvious reasons, and also my UPC I can't communicate with, UPC is that module uh, under the hood, so there is uh, these two modules I still have no communications with. Um, and let's gonna then let's gonna now try to figure out uh, what's what's causing it. Okay, so next day, and I can't work for much longer because it's gonna run in a minute. Uh, as you can see, the engine is running, uh, but there is a problem. I can't switch the engine off. Um, so basically, that uh, jumper you've seen, that jumper wire. So what I've done, looking at the diagrams and stuff, I figured that out. So this is 
actually, um, I now uh, strongly believe this was the original uh, module for the simple fact that I've opened the back of it and it's corroded everywhere. So I believe they took this one off and they put that one in. But I don't. Th I, I have a feeling that uh, that other UPC that's in there uh, is still no good. But uh, and I will show you in a minute why. So what I've done basically is I put 12 volts from that. Sorry, it's like that. So what I've done is no, it's like that. So what I've done is I put 12 volts from that plug from that pin over there into the wire over there that feeds then this wire here if you remember this pin here I don't know if I've showed you but I think I did this pin here is a pin that comes all the way back straight into my EPS to, to feed the EPS so it disengaged the immobilizer at the same time that wire is um, how, um, how do you say it is um, merged is, is, is joined inside this module with another three or four pins over here okay so I put it on on here but putting here or here is the same and what you do by doing this is I force one feed to the to the EPS and I do feed also the engine control module so now when I scan the car it's a little bit of clear okay maybe like that so as you can see I have all my uh, modules but when you see here on the tree, look at that, it sees every single module except the the 1337, which is my um, which is my uh, uh, UPC under the hood, the, that module under the hood, so that module. So it doesn't see that module, so when I come to problems, as you can see, it doesn't say, well, it says not recognize it, so... I don't I'm not really sure if that means it is actually detected because it doesn't say it's not detected it just says not recognized so I have a feeling that one or that UPS that um, UPC is faulty uh, the other one in there or um, I don't know this is offline somehow I've been um, uh, checking a uh, can network over there the can is absolutely fine so I've done the same as I've done over here but I've done it over there um, um, at the UPC plug which is um, over here being 6 and 12 is the last two pins on this side actually it's the last three on each side so they are all merged uh, because one goes so two of them so one can line high and low goes to the um, EPS the other one goes to the... where goes the other one? Well, yeah, I can't remember where the other one goes. Let me have a look in there. Oh dear. Okay. No, it doesn't show here. Um, I, I can't remember now, guys, where it goes, but... Um, but yeah, they, they are all merged somehow. I don't have that drawing here, I think, I guess. No, I don't. So anyway, uh, they are all merged, these, these last um, three pins on each side. They are all kind of high and low. And the signal is there, is, is, is good. There's nothing wrong with it. So yeah, the engine runs. I have power steering, everything, but I can't switch the engine off. So if I turn the key off, the only way to turn it off that's my only way to turn the engine off so at the moment um, I took the wire off so if I take the wire off as you're gonna see I'm not able to start the car anymore oh I actually am but I can't turn it off again uh, it, 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 it looks like I am um, the 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 damn module when I jump those wires the the the, the damn module somehow it latches inside somehow and then if I if I unplug or if I leave it for a little longer then I can't start again unless once again I jump those two pins so at the moment guys because I can't communicate with my UPC is a little bit I have a feeling that's gonna be my UPC I have a feeling that's gonna be that module in there that's that's faulty so that's why I think
or they got that module from because this module is the same for Nissan's and stuff so it might be that the coding on that module is different it's from a Nissan for example and obviously the car doesn't recognize the module and it can't communicate with it it might be that don't know just because it says not recognized so it's gonna turn this engine off again but yeah so let's gonna see what I'm gonna do next okay so what I've done now is I removed the well, the, the replacement DC uh, module, which is the one with the label, as you can see on the right hand side. So it's the one that supposedly had been bought to replace the other one. Um, and if I do exactly the same thing, I had to take some fuses out to put on the other one, but if I do exactly the same thing as I've done, as I've done earlier on the other module where I can start the engine, I get a completely different story. As you can see in there, it doesn't say as the UPC is not recognized, it says the, the UPC is not detected and at the same time it doesn't power the injection system okay so more and more I believe my problem is that uh, is the UPC so a few more checks and uh, and I think we are good to go okay and a few more checks done and it, it took me nowhere this is like few days later um, I've got a new UPC uh, not new it's a second-hand one but is a is a known good one and the seller uh, also said that uh, this UPC has been uh, virginized so we might gonna have to do some coding afterwards but uh, it should be plug-and-play to start with um, so yeah just put it in there battery is charging and let's gonna see if we can now communicate with it Okay, and uh, a clip is now loading and uh, the one thing that was still happening if you do remember was when I would turn the key on the first thing that would happen would be um, my uh, light in there the spinner light would come on if I'm not mistaken I can't remember properly now but let's gonna turn the ignition on because I'm gonna have to turn it on for a clip to detect the VIN number so we're gonna turn it on and I, I don't know what's gonna happen so Oh look at that guys look at that can you see the panel oh brilliant brilliant look uh, I still have oh no it's all good now look at that you see so it was all down to my UPC so let's gonna read the VIN number now scan the car the car is fixed I was thinking that would be a problem with my um, cluster as well but obviously it was all to do with possibly voltage and communication and all that stuff so I know there is a little bit of glare there is a, a car running behind me which you will might see a video for it uh, don't know yet so let's gonna scan the car and okay but we're gonna have uh, the UPC on the network and we're gonna have all the other modules straight away I can guarantee you that guarantee you so yeah uh, was a bad initially the bad UPC they got a second UPC I strongly believe that second UPC which is right here was actually from um, a micro a Nissan maybe a micro maybe uh, and and you know people think they can just you know they can just get parts and put them wherever they want it's, it's a little bit ridiculous uh, Oh, we still have two problems here. UPC and injection, that's a little bit weird now. Uh, why I'm not getting down the network? Why I'm not gonna... Oh dear, well, I'm gone, I'm gone. Something's not right here. <coughs> Let me see if I have connected everything properly. Uh, I think I have everything connected. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, so obviously my engine is not going to start. Uh, okay, so this is a Virgin UPC. Uh, mm, do I need to? Do I need to do anything uh, before? Obviously, if I do continue with faults, which is fine. So obviously, I'm not going to be able to connect with that one. Most likely. 
Okay, so not detected. Okay, let me see why that was not detected. Let, let me see if I have everything plugged in because I've been putting this car, God knows how. I need to make sure I have everything plugged in. Um, let me double check everything, guys. Okay, back, back on business. Okay, so um, what happened, guys, was quite simple, really, uh, I believe. Uh, I didn't check, but all I've done was uh, risk on the car and uh, clip does give you an option, which is um, it gives you an option to force the re-identification of the modules or it can just do it based on the last scan on this VIN number. Um, and all I've done was a risk and forcing the ID of all the modules again. And there we go, look. With faults, ABS, injection, UPC, there is my UPC. So what I'm gonna do now, so let's gonna go ABS. I hope the glare is not gonna spoil, so no stored faults, sorry, no uh, present faults, all stored. So we're gonna go into faults. My fault's gonna be computer power supply, no UCH signal. So obviously I've been connecting and disconnected everything. We had loads of stuff. Uh, oh dear, it's gonna be crazy. Where's my mouth? My mouth, my mouse. Validate, okay, that's done. Let's gonna go back. No faults, back. Okay, let's gonna go injection. Oh guys, I, I do apologize for the glare. Diagnose, injection. So one present fault and one stored. My present fault is the pre-eating unit, uh, main relay circuit, forget about that. Erase faults, doesn't really matter because they, they're gonna come back, but we erase that. And let me see what happens. Command finished. Okay, it says no faults, but it will come back. There's a problem with that relay. So uh, with that uh, preheaters. So this is what? PAS. Why is not communicating properly? I'm gonna go back. Forget about that. UPC. Hmm, this is weird. You see a instrument panel. Ah, there's something on this network here that is not right. What's going on here? So I had injection okay. I had ABS okay. And now why I can't... Let me see, 989 lightning. All I've done, guys, was plug that in. Hmm, that's really weird. UCH. Oh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Okay, so let me... Cycle the key and let me try to crank the engine, see what happens. And it's running, okay, as you can see in there. Engine is running, I have no lights. Let me show you. It's running fine. Let me, if you remember, with the uh, when I did all those wires, I couldn't turn the engine off, which I do can now. Okay, so I just don't understand why I can't communicate with this stuff. What the hell's going on here? Hmm. You know what? Let me go back to home. Cycle ignition. Let me rescan the entire car again. Going back from scratch. Zero. Computer test. Yes, I want to force the re identification. Ah, I didn't press that, didn't I? Receive to family. Oh, damn it. That's what I didn't want to do. 
but let's see what happens. <laughs> okay. Everything is detected. So my ABS obviously is gone. My injector obviously will come up with those faults again. Ah, there we go. Back on business. Okay, faults. Uh, computer doesn't really matter. Erase faults. That's just because of all the plug in and plug out of the modules. Back. Uh, UPC. That's what I want to see. My UPC. There we go. UPC multiplexed, UPC alternator link. They are both blink, doesn't really matter. Okay, and we, what we're gonna do as well, although I have no other. F uh, erase faults, validate. Back, back. Instrument panel. When fault stored. Guys, I know the glare is horrible and you're not even seeing what's going on. But what I'm doing is I'm going to go through all the modules, delete all the faults. Doesn't matter what they are, uh, just delete the faults. Um, I wish you could see this properly, guys. UCH, one fault stored, protection code between ECU and EPS, we knew about it. Validate, done, back, airbags, four stored, multiplex, computer power voltage supply, warning light, circuit fault, whatever, back, back and last module, the light, lightning, just gonna see what's in there, okay, two faults stored, Cornering lights, power supply, rent on right hand side, whatever that is, doesn't really matter. Delete, go back, back, and what I want to do now, I want to go back to UPC, I want to go to uh, repair, alternator type, uh, D4F, this is the wrong engine type to start with. So let's kind of see what I can vehicle parameters. Engine type is the K9K. This is the K9K, I'm sure it is. The K9K. Let's kind of validate this. Off. Back on. Finish. So let's kind of go. It's the only thing you can change, really. You can't change anything else. Okay. So if I go read configuration now, it tells me my engine, sorry guys, is KM, KK, K9, K. So before it was saying uh, DF4 or D4F, which is the other, the other engine. Uh, it's the only configuration I can change. So let's kind of go back. It's going to cycle the ignition, start this engine again, and there we go. Just make sure I have no faults, no faults at all, everything's fine, no lights as you can see, other than the seat belt light and the handbrake. Everything's running fine. Lovely, job done. Oops, job done. So, um, what else to say, guys? Uh, phew, um, I don't even think I'm going to put this car back together because they brought it like this, they can put it back together. Uh, the, uh, the only thing I'm going to put back together is the cover on the UPC and, and all that stuff. Guys, I know was I don't even know because I've been recording this video over the a few days and I, I don't even know what I've done uh, back, so I, I just hope by now everything i've done uh, did make some sense and was actually understandable hopefully um, i hope it makes sense how i got down to the to the to blame the upc at fault even though they had a second upc here and even though i blamed that upc 
or both UPCs were wrong. Um, I hope it makes sense how I got to, to that conclusion. So, and that's it. And th that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Uh, so, right. I really hope there's some information here. You guys are going to enjoy it. And that makes some sense for you. Uh, and that you have learned something. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions or comments, put them below. And like always, thanks for watching.